Viagra. Es una pastilla azul. Le dicen Viagra. ¿Qué es eso? Viagra. Viagra. No, Viagra. Es una pastilla azul. Los hombres se la toman, la pastilla. Oh, Viagra. Oh, yes. <laughs> You know what that? Mala. Oh yeah, yo por tu grandpa. Uh, un hombre que era muy... Me gustaba mucho. Where's the water? Yeah. What happened? Here, water, water. Hot. Anthony, Anthony. Here. <laughs> what is it? Ghost? You get a ghost pepper? Oh, wow. It's probably the ghost pepper. I know, but I wasn't thinking. I was thinking that was the other one here somewhere. There's a lot. That was good? Here. Water. Be careful. Here. You okay? It's hot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. This thing, man. That's ghost pepper. Yeah. Oh, I know. <coughs> That's what I thought I got. Oh, look. You want to show him your acorns? What's in your pocket? Look, it's in the pocket. What's inside the pocket? A pocket. A pocket. Oh. Ooh, first try. All right, guys, let's go. You're gonna break that window, Landon. Let's go. Get in the car, everybody. I'm gonna do that one more time. Or two times. I've done four times. Nope. Uh, uh. Never have. Did you hit your head? Yeah, I hit it. It slipped. You slipped? Yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah. You cry? Yeah. Your baby? No. Oh. Did you eat ice cream? No. Yes, you did. I saw this recipe <clears throat> on Simply Dumpling, I think it's Mike Chun's channel. He went to some Japanese restaurants. I don't know why I'm waving these like, ah, this is my hand, everybody. He went to some Japanese restaurant and they have like these meat bowls. So they're like rice with like bacon on top. So I'm gonna give it a shot. My rice is yellow because I put turmeric in it. Because I really like the flavor of turmeric. But let's see how this comes out. I never tried it before. I mean, what can be wrong with bacon, right? Am I right? Am I right, ladies? <clears throat> bacon is amazing. If I ever had a boyfriend, it would definitely be bacon. Or Brandon Yuri. Brandon Yuri would probably be better than bacon. Just kidding. I'm straight. Like a roundabout. I think this one is done, and I think, y'all hear something funny? So, I can make like, <clears throat> like breads and like crazy ass shit, right? Like I can make like, like here's some homemade mustard that's been fermenting, and here's knocked everything down. I can do like breads and you know, I have like a sous vide machine up here. 
I can do all that crazy shit. I can make cured shit, but I cannot fucking cook white rice or boil eggs. Eggs are my fucking enemy. I cannot cook them for the life of me. Rice is done. I cannot boil eggs and I cannot cook white rice. I don't know what it is, but I burn, I burn the rice every time and the shell always sticks to my eggs. So Sila has to cook the eggs in the house. And then I had to buy a rice cooker or we all eat burnt rice. Either burnt or severely undercooked rice. I don't know what it is. I've tried every trick in the book. Everybody's told me, you know, I've Googled fucking, I don't know why I said fucking, God damn it. Now I gotta, that, son of a, I gotta beep all that out. <clears throat> so I found this trick out, guys. If you uh, get your bacon, I'm gonna try to vlog this, so we'll see how, how horribly wrong this goes. But if you get your bacon grease, and you store it, all right, you got to, uh, hold on, I'm gonna burn myself. This is not, I shouldn't have done this. Don't do this at home, guys. Maybe turn off your stove, too, when you're trying to vlog and talk. And so, why is this in here? What? Bryson. But if you get your baking grease, then you get yourself <clears throat> a mason jar. You put a coffee filter on top. You can strain your baking grease through there as long as no meat falls through. This will store up to a year. And you have pure baking grease. You can use it just like you would butter or oil, and it gives everything a bacon flavor. Insane. I don't know why I never thought of that earlier and looked it up, but I'm doing it now, and everything I'm cooking, this has bacon. Sorry, I gotta call, cut my video out since I record on my iPhone. Any call, text comes out. But anyways, as I was saying, the baking grease starts up to a year. Uh, you use it just like you would butter or oil. I put baking grease on everything now. This has baking grease in it. Well, of course, this has baking grease, but I, I cooked eggs earlier. Um, thinking about putting it like on potato salad, maybe like on some ba on some pancakes. You get a coffee filter, <clears throat> and then you put it over the mason jar. Sorry, my throat is like really, <clears throat> really dry. I don't know why. I shouldn't be coughing in the video. And you put the ring of the lid over the top, and just pour your baking grease into the coffee filter and let it sit there. And it's going to strain just the grease. As long as you only get grease in there and no uh, meat particles, it'll last a year. Any meat goes in there, it'll rot within a week. Uh, and you'll get sick. So that's why you use a coffee filter. Like I have like these nut bags that are made for like almond milk and stuff like that. But you don't want any meat particles at all. So this is fine, but the coffee filter is finer. So coffee filter, mason jar, bacon grease. Heaven. Do it. Okay, Landon, who's making dinner? Mom. Oh man, are we gonna survive this? Tell me 